right after I said I'll only be making videos on Wednesdays, <laughs> I get this request. But it's no big deal. I'll still be making videos on Wednesdays. But um, if I get request videos, then maybe I'll just add that to the list and maybe just make that as fast as I can. Okay, so to create two-factor authentication for just about any service like Facebook, or in this situation, Gray, well, you're going to need this app. It's the Google Authenticator app. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So I'll just open it up so you guys can see how it works. So you can see all these numbers. These are codes. Um, the way it works is if someone gets access to your account, maybe because you use a very weak password, well, they are going to need this code to log into the account as well. And as you can see, the codes change every, I think, 30 seconds or so. You can see the timer here. As soon as this one elapses, then the code is going to change. So it's going to be hard for anybody to guess the code. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this with the Gray account. So this is my Gray account. I'm already logged in, as you can see my name over here. So make sure you log into yours as well. And then you come up here, you tap on it, and then you tap on profile. Next, you want to scroll using your thumb, but I don't know why my mouse is not working. So scroll to security and then you tap on it and it's going to ask you to set up my 2FA so you click on this so there are two ways you can set up 2FA and um, you have SMS and uh, authenticator app so SMS should be straightforward I'm not going to go into this one but I'm going to be using this one because this is the one it also recommends so so just click on it so a code is going to appear down here i'm not going to show all of it and uh, make sure no one sees this code because this is the only way you can secure the account so you're going to get an icon here to copy the code so just copy it and it should say copy to clipboard all right so after copying the code you want to go back to google authenticator and then you come down to this plus button here and you click on it and then you click on enter setup key so here you can input the name for the account you want to create the 2FA for so this should be for gray so i'm going to type gray so after that you have to paste the key that we copied from um, the gray website so i'm going to paste it of course i'm going to also hide it and then you should select time based here and tap add you should see the code you should see the account down here at the bottom so for me i like moving it up because I use it from time to time so I'm just going to drag it up so after adding it back to the list you want to go back to gray and then you click next so it's going to ask you to input the code that um, authenticator is um, showing you so you go back to authenticator and then you long press it's going to copy the code you go back to gray then you just paste So after pasting, it will tell you that um, two-factor authentication has been enabled. And uh, yeah, whenever you want to log into your Gray account, after you log in, it's going to ask you for the code. So you head back to Google Authenticator and then you copy the code and just paste. That's how you log into your Gray account. So having 2FA is great, but uh, I'll also recommend you get good passwords created for you. I don't even know the password to my Gray account. And that's because I use an app called beats warden so i have a video about that on my tech channel but because i don't want to promote my tech channel here i'll just ask you to search for how to use beat warden on youtube and um, whenever whatever video you get just watch it and uh, hopefully you're going to find it helpful all right so yeah if you have more questions leave them in the comments and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video